Hello, this is the long-awaited comparison between Atom OS and Windows X Lite OS. It is a full comparison using the most important benchmarks, explained clearly and honestly. Before we start, here are the specifications of my system. CPU is Intel i39100F. GPU is RTX 2060 RAM is 16 GB at 2400 MHz. Now let's see the tools we will use in today's comparison. Heaven Benchmark, CPU Z, Boot Racer, Far Cry 5, Furmark, Boot Racer, for measuring Windows boot speed. CPU Z for CPU benchmarking. Unigine Hev Benchmark for GPU benchmarking. Far Cry 5 Benchmarking Tool for GPU benchmarking. Far Cry 5 Gameplay for both CPU and GPU benchmarking. Furmark for CPU and GPU stress testing and benchmarking. And finally, and the most important one today, Cap Frame X for capturing and analyzing FPS. Before doing anything, let's check the settings of the apps we used. Our two builds are Atom OS 11.25, H2, Lite 006, and Windows X, Lite Optimum 11.25, H2, as you can see. We'll start by analyzing idle system behavior before running any stress or gaming benchmarks. Side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see at first, both builds are based on Windows 11.25, H2, which is the latest Windows version. Both builds come without bloatwares, as you can see, except Start All Back, which comes with XLITE. Atom OS comes with fewer installed apps, but X Lite is amazing for sure. Now an important part, both builds come without Windows Defender. Atom OS has lower desk usage, but it's a small difference, and for sure both builds are not compressed at all. Atom OS also has a smaller Windows ISO file size. Both builds have the same CPU usage and processes, but the huge difference is in RAM usage. Atom OS has much better RAM usage, as you can see. Now, the last part, the post-install folder that comes with both builds. In Atom OS, its size is clean and well organized, with great advanced tools and tweaks you may need, and the Atom wallpapers. On X Lite's side, it's more organized than Atom, 
and looks better but has fewer tools and tweaks. Now let's start with the first thing, the boot time with Boot Racer. As you can see, Atom OS boots in 16.796 seconds, while X Lite OS boots in 23.765 seconds, which is a 7 second difference, a huge difference for sure. Now, in Heaven Benchmark, as you can see, Adam comes with better AVG FPS, score, MI Yen, and max FPS values. With a 10.6% total score difference using the same settings and resolution. This is a very important part to look at. In Furmark, which you all have been waiting for, Adam has achieved a better total score with a 7.6% difference, which is not small for sure. And this is using the same preset and resolution. In Far Cry 5 benchmarking tools, sadly it was a bit unfair because I used borderless mode in X Lite, but both had the same benchmarks with the same settings for sure. Now, the most important part in the whole video, the real-time Far Cry 5 gameplay benchmarks using CapFrame X. Atom OS had a better PP5 score by 28%, better average FPS by 20.7%, better 1% lows average by 19.6%, and the Atom OS smoothness curve was better by 0.01%. A huge point that goes to Atom OS for sure, and we will not just stop at this. We will now have a split-screen gameplay comparison. Now let's take a look at the final scores and see how the first build outperforms the other. As you can see, this final score is the total of all the benchmarks we ran. Atom OS scored 5785.804, showing strong performance across CPU, GPU, RAM, and system responsiveness. Xlight scored 5192.6, which is about 11.9% lower than Atom OS. This shows that Atom OS outperforms Xlite in almost every area, giving a smoother and more optimized experience overall. Even though the difference might seem small at first when you combine all the tests, Atom OS clearly has the advantage. Now that you've seen all of that, you're probably asking, where can I get Atom OS? Just visit the Project Atom website and scroll down to the download section. Select the build you need. I'll go with Lite 11 since that's the version used in this video. Then, head over to the Docs page, scroll down to find the download option, and click on it to start your download.